So the wars have in fact broken out and actually it seems to be more tribal wars than anything else. I don't see many Europeans or colonies like, you know, starting to get more aggressive towards the Navy. They're, they're not there. They're staying kind of, they're kind of staying far behind. This is not what they should be doing right now. They're going to get caught if they continue with this process. So it is turn 100 and there are a lot of wars going on, but let's have an evaluation of how this scenario is going so far. So technically the Kree are dominating in terms of population. Now there is a pretty big coalition uh, with the Sioux and the Anishinaabe uh, declaring war in the Kree in the last video. So they might lose some cities, but uh, there's nothing, it's nothing super significant. They're not like way out ahead. Uh, it seems to be somewhat close. Obviously the natives have a bit more population, which is kind of what I was expecting, kind of what I was hoping for, in fact. Uh, so yeah, let's check out crop yields. Cree number one here as well. No wonder people are declaring war. They got all this stuff here uh, against the Cree. Uh, Chinook are doing pretty good in the northwest as well, in the Seattle slash Oregon region. Uh, Sioux as well, lots of crop yields. Manufactured goods, yes, the Sioux have been pumping out wonders all over the place, and they clearly have been pumping out a lot of units as well. This would explain a lot uh, in this spot. GNP, the Sioux. Uh, then it's France. France making a lot of money. That's weird, because France is also has a pretty big military, as it is. Land area, the Shoshone, of course. It's always going to be the Shoshone. When they're, whenever they're in any game, they're going to dominate the land area uh, demographic. Military manpower, it's still very... Whoa, look at the Sioux in the fourth place spot. Wow, that's incredible. Very good for them. That's incredible. So it's France, Spain, Mexico, then it's Canada, America, England. Um, England's slowly being caught, but remember England is in the middle of a war with the Iroquois, so they lost a little bit of units there. It, it, it makes a bit of sense. Uh, Spain and France might be among the most powerful uh, of, of the Europeans, only because, I mean, it's like they aren't going to have to deal with the natives too much. And they seem to be friendly. They're trading with each other. So uh, France and Spain might be where it's at. They might be dominating. Um, we, we, we'll see. We'll see. Very surprised at the Sioux, though. I'm sure the Sioux are going to drop as they continue to siege out a few more of these Cree cities. But uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it. Approval doesn't really matter. Literacy doesn't matter. We just check out technologies. The Sioux are doing very good in social standing. But then it's France. France is, uh, that's expected. Canada's doing well. Spain's doing well. Technologies, we have America at number one uh, and France at number one, tied for the number one spot at 37 technologies. The tribes are still about 10 techs behind in total. Uh, it's the Chinook tribe. They are nine techs behind the sixth place spot, and that's Mexico. Uh, that might change, though, because, again, Mexico can be aggressive. So they, they've caught up pretty fast, but, again, now the, Engl now the Europeans and, and their colonies have a bit more... They've got a bit more population. Their cities are being be better and better, which means that they are able to... Can, they're probably able to speed up the technology um, research a bit more. In the beginning, it's, it was hard because, you know, the limit to tech, the, the, the research level was just so high. Obviously, they weren't going to discover anything for quite a long time. That's not the case anymore. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I, I still, I don't think, I don't think all these tribes are going to catch um, the the outsiders, I guess I should just refer to them instead of, I, I don't like calling them the Europeans and the colonies, um, but I guess the, the other nation, the outsiders, the, you know, but... Uh, I don't think all the tribes are going to catch these nations. We'll have to wait and see. I think I think some will never catch them because they're going to be in such a high area. Uh, Net golds, France is doing pretty dang good. Cities, the Aztecs at six, Iroquois at six, Shoshone at six. Uh, the Iroquois were at seven, but they lost one. Uh, seems to be a pretty big tie between these tribes. And obviously, everyone else, the people that we expected, are down at the very bottom. Surprised that Spain. Well, France is about to get up another settler soon, though. Uh, Wonders. The Mayan are, oh, the Mayan actually are doing better than the Sioux. I thought they were not as good. Spain's doing good. Shoshone are doing good. England's doing good. Uh, and that's about it. Let's let's just check out trade routes. Canada's got four of them. I'm assuming one of them is going to a native. And France has got two. I think those are both going to Spain. Uh, let's go ahead and actually check that out. And actually, Canada just declared an, a, a friendship with the Iroquois. Oh, so actually, they might be just trading with themselves. They don't have that much of range. It makes a lot of sense. Let's see if those two trade routes from Napoleon are going to France. Here's definitely a caravel, a cargo ship, I'm sorry. And yeah, caravan. The caravan is going to Madrid. Uh, cargo ship's going to Barcelona. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, still no trade routes with... Well, they can't trade with the... Well, yeah, with the caravan they could. The Aztecs have pieced out with Montezuma. Or, I'm sorry, the Aztecs have pieced out with the Zapotec. They grabbed two cities from that war. Pretty, pretty successful war. Uh, they still have quite a bit of a military. And the Mexican army probably... I, I don't know. I think their time has passed them. I would say that's unfortunate. You know, I, I, I've been kind of wanting Mexico to do something here, but they haven't. Uh, Spain, built up the Great Mosque. Okay. Fr 
French city actually moving towards the Cree, closer and closer towards the Cree. Not sure how much of these these boats here are going to help out against the Loon River city. We'll have to wait and see for that. Oh, the, the Sioux are actually splitting up their armies. Probably not the best idea, I would say. Spain has enhanced their religion of Buddhism. And uh, the Canadians have their own wonder. Now, England is still attacking Grand River. They've got multiple uh, great... What are these? I'm sorry. Composite Eng English long bowmen. Uh, so those English long bowmen, I believe, are going to be able to attack from three tiles away. Pretty significant there. I completely forgot about that. And America does have... Wow, they've got four Minutemen. They're just not executing anything. They're just chilling. I mean, maybe... Do they not have the vision? I'm assuming they have the vision. I think they know where the Iroquois are at. They have to. But I'm not 100% on that. Yeah, not sure. The Mayans and the Mexicans... Uh, the Mayans and the Mexico, that's it, it well, that's it, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just processing there. That's an interesting war, uh, that's an interesting friendship there. It's smart because I'm assuming that both of these nations don't like the Aztecs. So it is pretty smart that Mexico is united with the Mayans. But, you know, if they don't do something about the Aztecs, oh man, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be really bad. The Oracle is built by, uh... I believe the leader is pronounced Pontiac. Is it Pontiac? Something like that. How are the Sioux doing? I still have yet to see the Sioux take over any city. Uh, surprisingly enough, I thought they would. But, you know, they, they're having a tough time here. Clearly, they're having a little bit of a tough time. And there's a lot of rough terrain, too. For the AI to navigate all this rough terrain, that's going to be difficult. The Sioux are losing military units, and the Kree are geared towards a military. They're not so geared towards, like, defense or anything, but uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, it still helps out. They're getting a promotion from their units. I think all their units have a promotion, some sort of specific promotion. England seems to be backing off. Not sure if this is going to give way for Washington to try something here. It might. France has grabbed a city. It's actually moving closer and closer towards Mexico. Lyon. A big, I mean, it's splitting the difference between Mexico, uh, Guadalajara, and the Cree city of the north. Turn 107. Shoshone haven't done anything. Okay, so Elizabeth has offered Hiawatha, uh, Hiawatha the peace deal. And, uh, you know, America really let that, let that go. Uh, America could have done a lot more, but they didn't. And that is an interesting move. They're going to let these tribes, these tribes are going to come back. And it's going to be interesting when these Europeans, they lose most of their, their advantages. They're going to lose them. Now I know for a fact they are going to lose their advantages. And I'm not sure exactly how much of leeway these natives are going to give them. They, they might take them over. I mean, they're going to be small if they don't start colonizing. The only three cities are, the only empires with three cities are France, America, and Canada. Pocatello has built the, uh, the Petra. Do they have... Oh, yeah, they've got access to a plenty of desert. So, yeah, they can do a lot with that wonder. That was smart of them. Missionaries... Oh, my gosh, look at the spread of uh, Protestantism moving over towards the Chinook lands. Smart. These missionaries are just going for it. Now going down south for the Shoshone. Uh, lots of Protestantisms. Protestantism just reforming up all throughout this region. Yeah, pretty big stuff there. Not sure. Now, I believe the Sioux and the Denny are still at war against each other. Uh, Sioux haven't done much against the uh, this Iroquois city that's been founded. Neither have the Shoshone. I believe the Shoshone are also involved in that war, but I'm not 100% there. Yeah, completely not 100%. Canada stayed relatively peaceful when they did not have to. They totally didn't have to. Uh, Washington's built up their own wonder. And we have the... Is that the... Uh, who is that again? That's the Chinook, right? Yes, the Statue of Zeus. Wow, they're kind of late. They're kind of late on that. And let's go ahead and double check on these resources. I really love watching this. There are the Orca. Very cool icon, too. Oh, man, Free Willy. Uh, and then we got Salmon moving around. They have also a lot of cities that are... Well, they have a few cities that are located on a river, but not a lot. I mean, this guy's coastal anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I don't know. Let's keep an eye on that stuff. And what is this? The Zapotec have denounced the Aztecs. That will probably be a rivalry that uh, doesn't end well for the Zapotec. Although they have the Great Wall, I'm that probably helped them out a lot, uh, keeping Montezuma from taking too much. Anishinaabe has offered the Cree some peace with Poundmaker. 
And we also have Peace Deal between the Sioux and Denny. Smart move there. Disappointment. I'm, I'm disappointed in the Sioux's expansion. They've had some... I'm not expansion. They've done a good job colonizing. But, I mean, uh, they haven't done good military-wise. Not at all. Yeah, they're, they've been in a pretty tough spot here. What are the Hanging Gardens. Another peace deal. It's turn 114. Lots of peace deals happening. Now, the natives in the west... I mean, there's there's got to be some tension going on in that region. Because they they both are... I mean, all of these nations are somewhat close to each other. AIs hate that. So I don't know what's going to happen with that whole scenario. We'll have to wait and see. Turn 115. Mexico, you, you got to do something, man. You got to do something. I know that... I think that Mexico's geared more towards a... Uh, oh, wait a second. What's France going to do? France has completely left their front against Spain, completely opened. I think they're okay with that because France is also, or Spain is also invested in the French Empire. Uh, they are heavily trading with Paris and Orleans. It looks like they're actually going to launch an attack on the Cree since that seems to be uh, the nation to go to war with at the moment. Taking these two cities right here in the heart of America would be smart. Modern day America, I mean. It would be smart, but then again, it could be pushing Napoleon into some wars that maybe aren't the best move especially if you don't have a good infrastructure in this map particular particularly oh man it's gonna be bad you, you gotta have a pretty good you gotta have something here oh now washington's going for it. you just wanted to wait for elizabeth to get out of the war huh you didn't want to get anything sneaked upon you so grand river should definitely fall i imagine that america i think is the last turn to process uh he is washington no processing for america would be oh yeah no america does go last Okay, so Grand River should certainly fall. I'm surprised they didn't take more... Grand River didn't take more damage. There it is. That is what I was waiting for. Mexico has just declared war on the Mayans. Uh, having the... Uh, I'm sorry. Mexico has declared war on the Aztecs. The Mayans are also helping them out. They might take Grand River here, but still, Washington's going to lose a lot of his army. Uh, that was interesting. Surprised that that took them so much. Okay, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, these Jaguars, how much are they? How well are they going to be able to defend? They already have a cannon unit in place, and the capital of the Aztecs are really, really close. Oh, my goodness, Washington, you are a disappointment. Come on, man, what was that? You could have taken something, possibly. Whoa, look at these Jaguars. That Jaguar just totally wiped out a cannon unit. That cannon unit that we just talked about has been destroyed. Now, how the mine, are the mines going to contribute that much? No, the Mayans should have attacked here. Uh, they should have attacked eastward, but they did not do that. Sioux have not given peace to the Cree, but the Cree seem to be uh, doing a lot better than before. The Iroquois have peaced out with everybody. They've survived the coalition, only losing one city. Not bad. They still have six cities total. Uh, so that wasn't bad at all. Smart move by them. Okay, so what do we got? What do you got, Mexico? Okay, so now you're bringing in the heavy guns. It seems like the Aztec have, Aztecs have lost a, a huge chunk of their units. I'm wondering if the Zapotec are now going to help out and try to re retrieve San Jose. I mean, you know, even... Well, oh, that's right. I forgot about the Mayan Empire of the North. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, how much damage are these... Can oh, my gosh. Okay, these cannon units are doing a lot of damage, and I believe this is a melee unit that the Mexica... The, oh, it doesn't matter. The uh, musket men from the South will be able to take over. So the Aztecs are going to lose their capital. That's a pretty big shift from them dominating a war in the West against the Zapotec to losing their capital. Wow. That's a very quick up and down. Canada's built up the Globe Theater. That's interesting. The Globe Theater is a pretty high wonder, which is going to uh, not allow some of the other civs to grab that later on in the game whenever they get to that technology. Reformation from, uh, from the Aztecs for Catholicism. And boom, there it is. The Sioux and the Cree have made peace. Wow, look at the Cree now. Look at the Cree building back up a military. These are their strong stuff, too. These unique units. We just talked about this. Uh, these are good units. Very good units. Boom. There goes Mexico. The Aztecs. I'm sorry. Well, there, uh, well, yeah, there goes Mexico. They stole away the Aztec capital. And are they going to continue to advance? They probably need a bit more of a military, though. They still need to also colonize. They can't just be focused on taking cities, although maybe they could. They could be doing that. Washington's at 108, I'm sorry, 100, 108, what? 1,181 uh, gold. Isabella in second place, third place, Napoleon. Then it's actually the Zapotec, the uh, Chinook, and the Cree, the Anishinaabe, the Denny, and then it's Elizabeth, ninth, Pocatello, and tenth. 
Okay, no more wars that have gone on. We have to kind of keep an eye on Mexico, though. I'm not sure if they're going to continue to advance. They are losing a lot of units, but the luck lucky for them, they don't really border that many people. Although you have to worry about France, because France is reinforcing Lyon by quite a bit in the north. A couple of uh, Renaissance eras have been met. Some people have entered the Renaissance era. Ooh. Oh, that no, no, that doesn't mean anything. I got really excited that I saw that France was now trading with somebody else, but uh, that doesn't mean anything unless until we start to see. I know there are a few caravans trading with some tribes, but uh, that's really important when you see that. Dang, the Denny are sending out missionaries all the way over this way. That's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Do you really need Protestantism to... to wow, wait a second. What are the Creed planning on? Are they going to try to launch their own attack? They could be. They could be. Canada stayed pretty peaceful. Boom! A four, a second city taken away from the Aztecs. Uh, the Mayan are also moving in forward from the north down southward. Okay, I would, I wouldn't push your luck any more than that, though. You, you do have musketeers just off in the east, Mexico. Don't, don't do anything risky. Just chill. I would just say, just chill. You don't have that big of a military. A pikeman's not going to help out that much. Not anymore. You guys waited too long. Just chill. It's all good. You did good. That was successful. You've got now you have attained, attained, obtained the most amount of cities that any colony or European had. Oh, actually, no. Four cities from Canada. When did they get Toronto down? Well, smart move there. Very smart move there. Mainly the trade. It's funny how the trading's been mainly going on between uh, not with natives. The Iroquois also separating. Oh, Nottingham being settled in Florida. Very interesting move there as well. I'm, I'm assuming that Spain is going to take out this small Iroquois um, empire at some point. There's no way they're going to let this happen. I, I don't think they're just going to let that happen. Okay, so we are seeing some dominance, but it's not been the sh just sheer dominant that I expected. Uh, I, I expected some people to get rolled over completely. That's not really been happening. I think Mexico solidified their power in this region. They're going to stay, um, I think, among the most powerful, I would assume. I mean, if they would have, if they would were to grab like one more city, that would help. But still, I don't think Mexico's super aggressive. Again, random personalities. I keep forgetting about that. So who knows? Maybe they could be. Maybe they are super aggressive. I, I, I don't know. Shoshone haven't been doing much, even though they control so much land and an okay military. It's okay. It's not like amazing or anything like that, but it's it's still something. I'm sure the Shoshone are going to be doing good, especially because they're the only nation that can reach out towards California. This is a lot of extra land for them. A lot of extra land. Although most of these nations have the possibility of getting a lot of extra land. Um, they just seem to be settling in really, really weird spots. I actually really like the map like this. I know that, you know, normally when we're playing on Europe or map, you know, world maps and stuff like that, I like to see, like, the map filled out. But because it's kind of like a, you know, like a Native American tribe sort of scenario, I think this looks good. I think this looks pretty interesting. We should definitely kind of check in on that uh, political map mode at some point. I always love this map mode. Maybe not right now. I know I probably shouldn't be checking on it right now, but this is pretty awesome to look at. Anyways, let's go to the next turn. I don't know if there's ever going to be a stoppage of wars. Now, this is, like I said, this is the first campaign that we've ever had where we've we've had a few campaigns with a low number of civs. I think the lowest so far has been 18 civs. Um, but this is going to be interesting because there are, there are, even less than that, there are 16 civs, but they're going to get up a lot of cities, which means that every one of these empires has the possibility of being extremely powerful. Um, and we might see some big wars, bigger than like, because the AI-only world campaign, the problem with that was that a lot of the bigger nations just declared war on smaller nations, and then that was it. Um, this is a little bit different, whereas... Bigger nations are going to have to fight bigger nations. They're not going to be that many nations that are small. Uh, I guess, depending on, I, I guess, depends on really how Spain, England, Mexico, you know, Canada does. I don't think they're going to be small because they're going to be able to continue to capture cities, but still. Uh, but still, we'll have to wait and see. I'm really liking this map mode. I'm liking how strong the Iroquois are. The Anishinaabe are doing a great job getting up. They've got their unique units up. We should probably go and check those out, uh, what those do in the next video. Canada's gotten up. That is not a settler. This is an artillery unit, technically. Wow. Now, that's pretty early on, Canada. That is uh, that is pretty dang early. Wasn't expecting that early of a move there. Leaning tower from Canada as well, of Pisa. Someone needs to, someone needs to watch out for them because they're in the corner. 
You gotta worry about those corner sieves. I expect some some expansion from the Cree though at some point, or somebody at least, to colonize this region and probably putting more pressure on Canada, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.